Hi, I'd like to show how Neo4j's graph analytics can be natively integrated inside of Microsoft Fabric as a workload. Here in the Fabric user interface, I'm essentially picking up uh, a, a you know, set of different workloads that I can add to my workspaces. Um, in here, Neo4j's graph analytics workload is available. I can see more details about this workload, like what does it provide, what kind of access does it need, and what data sets uh, it supports. I can go ahead and add this workload to my home workspace. And here I can see the different graph data sets that are available to me that I may have already created. But let's create a new graph data set to see what that experience looks like. So I'm just going to give the graph data set a name and hit create. And now I can pick which data I want to apply uh, and bring uh, into this graph data set. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my first lake house. And in this lake house, I have Northwind uh, data set in available in, as a set of tables. I can pick and choose which tables I want. And then I can go ahead and transform that uh, tabular structure into a graph. The first thing I need to do is to just provide a location for where this graph data set is going to be held. Um, we can make this more seamless by uh, setting it up uh, and pre-configuring it be, uh, be, you know, behind the scenes. But let's go ahead and connect with a set of credentials and store uh, this data as a graph. Uh, and, and right now what's happened is uh, the tabular structure has been transformed into a graph structure of this kind, of this shape, uh, where you can see orders connected to products, connected to categories, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I can go ahead and now start exploring this data as a graph. And what you're seeing now is a visual exploration experience from Neo4j, where I can basically start with a graph, just say, show me a graph and a, a set of you know nodes and relationships are returned to me i can go ahead and expand uh, and filter and uh, manipulate this uh, visual visualization uh, in many different ways uh, color code and, and so on and so forth um, but i can also uh, use this interface to ask questions so in this example i'm essentially putting in a natural language phrase a natural language question uh, which orders contain ravioli uh, and this type of a question without knowing Neo4j specific language uh, can then be converted using Azure OpenAI or uh, um, you know, LLMs like that to uh, a graph pattern. Uh, and so this pattern now tells me, okay, order connected to product using the orders relationship where products have the name ravioli in them. And, and now I'm able to kind of see a graph and I can ex explore it further if I need to. Another thing I can do uh, in terms of graph analytics, which could be really, really powerful, is looking at my entire graph and deriving from it uh, certain things like important nodes or uh, relevance of certain uh, you know, relationships and things like that. Uh, and so here I'm essentially looking at what are the important products in my graph. And to do that, I bring in all of the orders associated with those products and then run this algorithm called PageRank Centrality uh, and when I run this page rank centrality algorithm, it basically applies a score uh, to all of my nodes. I'm now only interested in the product nodes, uh, so I'm going to get rid of everything else uh, from that graph. And using the, the scores that are generated by this algorithm, I can now color code and visually uh, bring, bring up like which node has or which product has uh, the, the highest page rank centrality by having the deepest color uh, of green and then by having the largest size and then I can visually rearrange it and so on and so forth. But basically in, in a nutshell, what I've done is I've taken some tabular data, generated a graph structure from it uh, and then applied different techniques of graph analytics, whether that is just visually searching for graph patterns and then exploring them further or applying uh, a set of graph algorithms and Neo4j has many to choose from uh, to determine centrality scores. I can also do community detection and look for similar things and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then once I'm done with this type of analysis, I can go back into my workspace and take this graph data set. And if I want to uh, create new ones or explore this further or you know get rid of it or whatever, I can do that. But most importantly, I can also save this back into one lake. Uh, as a fresh data set that I can then use for additional work workloads and workflows.